So if you just watched part one, which was SRM Carries, let's hop over to LRM Carries. And let's start off with a nightmare scenario. Here's a nightmare. It is the Ilkhan era, dark ages. Diamond sharks are in their fleets with weapons manufacturing capabilities that are skyborne, meaning that they're on ships running 24-7, and they can produce any multitude of clan weapons, and you can make a deal with them. Scary enough, right? Right. So let's say that you are a commander and you want to, I don't know, do something retarded and you have LRM carriers and your LRM carriers are not doing too much. They're literally sitting there with three standard inner sphere LRM 20s and you're not thrilled about it. You know, you just, eh. You're not motivated, you're not depressed, you're not thrilled, you're not happy, you're not excited, you're just in it to win it. So what if we turned around and tinkered with what was coming up? And not only did we tinker with what was coming up, we turned around and made a very scary monster. Five LRM 20s, five stock clan LRM or six clan LRM20s, which is very, very possible. Now, why would you want to have um, that amount of hate just airborne out there? You're just drawing away, you know, a monstrosity in and of itself and saying, hi, I don't like people. Because you can't. You're a genius. You came up with a plan. You worked something out. And then you contacted the Diamond Sharks. The Diamond Sharks said, sure, we'll sell you clan LRM 20s because we can. And it, we don't care how we feel about you. So you're taking a bunch of leftover LRM carrier chassis. And you say, well, let's drop the engine a little bit. We're not supposed to drive these fast anyway. And you drop 30 tons of six clan LRM 20s. And now you're doing 666 six, six at all ranges, which has now surpassed the firepower of an SRM carry by one range bracket long. You have enough ammo to fire nine rounds out of every LRM 20 carrier. And now you are insanely unstoppable. Combine that in Alpha Strike with a spotter. Indirect fire, veteran or elite tank crews. You're literally raining artillery free fire without having all the penalties of templates on your opponent. <clears throat> so let's go over to the Twilight Zone as well and look at this. So, indirect fire five, LRM 555, five, five, four armor, two structure, heavy. No TMM, who cares? Six LM twenties, five tons of ammo. Let's see if I reduce the you no. Know, I'm trying to get it to give me IF six. So one more time. Will you give me IF six? No, you will not. How many tons do you need to give me IF six? You will never give me IF six. You're a lying, filthy meanie. Nope. Okay. Never mind. So my evil plan was to give myself an IF six monstrosity. IF five is bad enough. But you have a respectable eight tons of armor or two, well, technically four, three, seven points of damage. And if they get to you, then they deserve to get even with you. But alas, let's not do the share. So a stock LRM carrier by itself is a trebuchet, if you will. It launches things, it throws rocks at people, big missile guided rocks that make people cry. And in classic, setting it up and getting in position is a pain. There's a lot of factors in classic, even if you have an elite gunner in the seat. Yeah, it's two base, four at long range, not including terrain. Then you got to deal with the target movement modifier, 
cover and other fact. I don't like it. Alpha Strike, it's two for TMM still cover, but if I drove, moved, or anything else happened, nah, we're not drilled, we're not drilled. So the base Elrond carrier comes in at a whopping 22 points. So for four, it's 88, still cheaper than max IF3. That's possible 12 points of damage with the spotter. It's sexy. And again, urban environment, tight terrain, mountains, caverns, caves, not caves, can't arc, oceans, long range. The yellow room carry and the S room carry are meant to shine together. And it's just a beautiful monstrosity of cruelty. So, yes, cheap, effective missiles platform. And if I get a spotter, I'm raining the hate. That's why carriers in the Battletech universe are rock solid. Now, granted, one of the most common variants that I like is the C3 network variant. The C3 network variant combined with a fast moving spotter, Spider, Jenner, pick one, gets it short range. The LM carrier, as long as there's no ECM, ECCM joke running, you're bombing people at a higher rate of return fire. And I mean to say that I have a spotter that's pointing the red dot at you. He's at long range, but he's shooting for short range. And if he's a skill three, it's three plus your target movement modifier. Ouch. All day long. Statistically, I'm going to hit more, impact more. I'm going to be wrecking your armor and rolling you off the table. Hmm. So if you ask me why I love Alpha Strike, combined arms always will be why I like Alpha Strike. Instead of having four different books for all the different types of infantry, tanks, vehicles, and units, everything's in one book. And I can go nuts planning out nightmare scenarios of training up young Mech Commanders. So signing off, Mech Commanders. Thank you for checking this out and enjoy. Talk to y'all later.